welcome to another episode of Sex and Happiness, the show about sex and happiness, your sex and your happiness, actually. I'm Laurie Handlers. I'm Michael Gibson. And today we're going to speak about, well, here's why we're going to speak about it. We just got asked a question on the internet. Somebody asked us, how do you keep your ego out of sex? How do you keep your ego away from having when you're having sex with your partner? Yeah. I mean, that begs the question, what is ego doing inside of your sex? <laughs> oh, you don't think some people have performance? I you know they have they perform and they have performance <laughs> anxiety. And like there are men who don't know if they're going to be able to get it up and their ego is on the line. And um there are women who who are they're more in their masculine and they feel like they have conquest going on. You know, I know about some of that. You know about some of that. Your yeah. ego was, what are you doing? Yeah, but how, yeah. how long, long ago was it? How long ago was it that I haven't had ego in my sex? How long ago was it that you have had ego in your sex? I have ego in my sex every time I have sex. <laughs> what are you talking about? The question I asked was, what the hell is ego doing in sex? I mean, but it's such a natural thing. It's normal. Right? Yeah. you. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, how do you leave your ego behind? Well, that's like, a different question altogether. OK. And that's a good question. I'm, I'm glad you asked it. But yeah, it's so as you stated, there's all the ways that our ego gets in the way or gets into um, our interactions and react um, relating when we're making love or when we're involved in the sexual process, but really what are we supposed, what should we be there? I hate to should on everybody, but what, what should be you arising? Mean you mean like what's a more evolved place to come from? Ding. So the question is, how do you have a more evolved way of relating than your performance or your ego or your ego getting hurt or whatever? How can you have a more evolved way of relating? So the first thing is like, do you have a goal? What are you trying to accomplish? To me, the act of sex is connection, it's vibration, it's intimacy, it's um, it's it might be magic, mm -hmm. it's it's the god and the goddess meeting, and in, in an, on on the in the physical plane and other planes. There are so many. Uh, there's so many reasons that two people or five people, I don't know, that people would have a sexual encounter. So if the ego is there, it seems to me that someone's not going to be present. They're going to be, they're going to be monitoring, their attention is going to be on self. And if their attention is on self, I just don't think that's the right place to be. Yeah. The attention could be on pleasure, my pleasure your pleasure the attention could be on service my serving you you serving me but if i if my if i'm worried if i'm concerned about how i'm coming across or performing or if i'm doing it right or if you're doing it right or like all the ways that my head could get involved mm -hmm. i'm robbing the experience of something yeah well, let, let me give an analogy. I okay. think that might flesh this out a little bit. Okay. Um, this analogy is you show up to a party and you show up with all kinds of goodies. You have like, a, you know, a 12 pack of the people's favorite beer or, or bottles of wine. You yeah. show up and you just have a, like you have it all that's available and you're bringing it to the party. The question is, what is your intention for that? Is it so people will look at you and go, wow, look how cool he is or look how awesome he is and generous and what a great person he is oh man he's is that why you're doing it or are you doing it because you're bringing something to the party because you're actually in service to this event that's taking place this is the difference between ego and someone who's actually involved in the present in, in being present and the presentation of um you know a memory a uh, uh, a life that's lived it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how to get your ego out of the way is to just surrender, mm. which when I say just surrender, like <laughs> that's big, 
it's not an easy thing to surrender. It takes practice. It may take coaching, you know, being coached by someone. It may take reading my book, Sex and Happiness. I have a whole chapter about surrender. Surrendering to my pleasure is my secret. Like I, when I surrender to my pleasure, then I can receive from you. Mm. When I surrender to my pleasure, I can serve you in however movement moves me. It's like a Lottie Han. I'm not worrying about, I'm not going to do this technique and that technique and something I read about or something in the Masters and Johnson book. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like what the best sexual connection for me is when I'm out of the way and I'm simply in service to pleasure. So surrender is one of the first ways mm -hmm. to gain access to this. Mm -hmm. Another way is through presence. And you have a, a chapter in your book, Sex and Happiness, called The Witness, mm -hmm. right? And so this is where presence comes in, to be present and to be the witness, to allow your witness to experience everything that's happening, that's unfolding as it unfolds, um, is, is another way that you can access this powerful thing that's happening between mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, however many people, um, and or <laughs> even solo, even, right? Even solo, if you're alone, even solo, even solo. You want to bring presence and surrender into the mix. What's another one that we can use? Like another principle, another principle or practice. Or well, practice. to communicate in advance. Mm. So we have ways that that we communicate in advance. We do a ritual before we connect. And we say desires, fears, and boundaries. And once we've said that, it's like, okay, it, it, like we set the stage, we set the container. Yeah, the yeah. container. We set the way that we're going to be. And so we don't mm -hmm. give it much more worry after that. Yeah. After that, it's more are we fulfilling on those desires? And are we protecting each other from our fears and also making sure that our boundaries are held with honor? Yeah. Yeah. And we also have ways that we communicate. So, I mean, we can't, we're not going to teach a whole course right now, but we, you know, we were asked that question. And so if one person has that question, we think other people have that question. Mm -hmm. How do you keep your ego out of away and off your sex partners? Mm -hmm. And um, you do, yeah. you just do because yeah. you do, you do because you just, you desire to, and you that you communicate and you surrender and what was and surrender and you witness that's right so there you have it now mm. we want to say a word to you about first of all i want you to visit the new website it's still in development stage but it's beautiful it's lauriehandlers.com and you can find out more information about us there also we want to mention Go Love, which Go Love is a, is a new sponsor, and it's a wonderful lube that has CBD in it, and it takes away, it actually frees you to get out of your ego a little bit more, <laughs> you know, like it allows you to relax a little bit more. Yeah. It's, it's really great. And our, uh, our affiliate code is? Oh, Sex and Happiness. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that we put a link at the bottom uh, or in the description here underneath. And yes, sex and happiness, you'll get 10% off. Um, go love cbd.com is the website. And, and you should definitely try it. Definitely. We like it. We love it. So yeah. that and then I, please tune in to our next show when we'll have another tip or tips about how to relate like what it is to be sexy and happy, how to be how to have sex and happiness. That's really our focus. True. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. Please tune in again. Mm -hmm. Much love. <laughs>